What is going on my peeps, your boy Versatile is back with another video back very briefly and quickly to show you guys the most recent security update from T-Mobile for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 hit over the weekend on Saturday. It was just over 600 megabytes and I guess it, didn't, it the primary reason it, the update was here for was for Bixby, but along with that update fixed one of the prime issues that I had been talking about with this device, which is the Samsung DeX and the taskbar going away in full screen. Uh, when you're you know, pretty much full screening your device for you know watching you know media. And so the way I'll demonstrate that the issue is fixed is by going into YouTube here. I can't wait to watch this show Impulse season two, but let's say I just wanted to watch a quick video real quick. Let me make sure my volume is turned all the way down. And then let me just say I want to watch top catches from the NFL. Well, once I hit full screen, you know it disappears, right? Well, let me come back. The taskbar comes back. So Samsung finally got around to fixing the Samsung Dex bug that was the taskbar disappearing in full screen. And the bug that it was attached to was your full screen gestures in tablet mode. And so in tablet mode, I have my, I have complete gesture navigation on here. You swipe up on the left for a recent app, swipe up in the middle for home, swipe up on the right for back. And so without gesture hints or nothing like that, it's just straight full on gestures. Well, when you have that enabled prior to this update, doggone Samsung Dex trips with the taskbar. But if you have gesture hints turned on or you do or you use the three button navigation, then the, the taskbar and Samsung Dex, there's no issue. But now I was able to fix that and or not, not me, of course, but now Samsung has fixed that and now I can go back to using Samsung Dex. And I feel like they've also uh, tweaked and kind of uh, reworked Deck, uh, Samsung Dex just a hair, but it was an important fix, and I think it was in terms of like memory usage. And so one of the messages uh, messages I would consistently get at the bottom of the screen, you know, kind of where you see home trending subscriptions, inbox library down in that area, uh, you know, regardless if you're in an app or not, it would show something about closing apps or you should close apps because of memory and whatnot. And now the nice part about this is it uses all but about a gig's worth of memory that I've been seeing so far and I've been running it for about 24 hours in Samsung Dex and I have not seen that message pop up not once. So Samsung actually refreshed Samsung Dex along with fixing those two problems and now Samsung Dex is amazing to use. I'm using it from now on, I think. I'll switch over to tab mode every once in a blue moon to, to do specific things, but I can run this as Samsung Dex on my tablet now. So thank you Samsung for finally fixing that issue and hopefully you guys out there likewise will get that update for your T-Mobile variant or uh, outside of the T-Mobile period, if they sent that update out to the, to the Tab S4, you guys should see that fix as well. But your boy Versado just wanted to come back real quick to let you guys know that. And so that way you guys can go back to using Dex if you guys want to as well. And I have no issues with tablet mode interfering with Dex mode. So now your boy Russell is signing out and until the next video, I'll wait for it.